All right, summertime's here. It's time to water the grass. And I've got my brand new spruce irrigation controller right here, but I need to get it unboxed before I show you how to put it on the wall. Let's go. Okay, a little backstory with this. This is a Kickstarter that, man, I don't even remember when it first started. It's been so long ago. But uh, I backed it and it didn't go. And the guy redid everything and even redid some of the product. Renamed the product from Eve to Spruce. Re-kickstarted it and the project flew. So it does work to, with, with your smart things. And let me show you something else. That's really cool about this, besides the free t-shirt. Actually, I, think, I don't know, I may have paid for that, I don't know. Um, it comes with a soil moisture sensor. So you put this out in, the, in your, you put it in the lawn. And then it's so flat that you just go right over it with the mower. You're not gonna hit it, you're not gonna chop it in half. So we're gonna unbox all of this stuff. This is spruce. Man, I can't wait to wear my t-shirt. What better place to take a look at an irrigation controller than the, the garage? So let's take a look. All right, so here we go with the spruce and the sensor. Let's get the controller out first, if I can. Just trying to be nice with it here. So weather prediction, soil moisture sensor feedback, smart home compatible. Oh, it's got nice uh, little packaging here. That's pretty cool. So the thing is, is like, okay, uh, it's time to water the grass. You put it on a schedule. It looks up and says, hey Dave, it's about to rain, so I'm not gonna water. That's, that's kinda cool. Face plate removal instructions, we got right here. So we have the instructions meeting us right at the very top on how to remove the existing controller, put the mounting plane on, and do the wires. So, really cool. Let's get into it, there's protection. We're gonna put that over here, uh, sorry. I hope I'm holding this to the camera right. The screws here, power supply. We got the power supply. This is a little smaller than what it looks like on the box. So that looks to be it. We'll put this out of the way. And we'll get this out of the plastic wrap. That is slick. So, it looks like all the zone wires are gonna go up here. It's got a spot, it's got these tabs here. I get that one, and that one came out too. I just don't wanna drop it. Okay, so the faceplate, it's got the, uh, like a daughter card there. And this looks pretty easy, so we're gonna be able to do the zones and you got all the smarts and the electronics in here. All right, so I'm gonna put this back together. This is gonna look really cool on the wall. How cool does that look? That's cool. All right, let's get out the soil uh, moisture sensor. Now you don't, have to, you don't have to buy moisture sensors in order to use this irrigation controller. Um, Gets surface temperature and wireless range up to 300 feet. And there's a CR123 battery which lasts at least one year. And it's like low data, like low data rate. You're not gonna be surfing the internet over this, but you can transfer little bits and pieces of information. I do not know about the range and stuff, so I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna tell you. How's that? Let's get it open. Uh-oh, stop sign. Do not remove the pull tab from the battery compartment until it's instructed. You know me, I'd just be ripping that thing right out. So here's the little pamphlet. We're gonna set this aside. So we wanna see the goods. All right, there it is, there's the pull tab. So just like any other like device, you know, that has a battery, pull that tab out and it'll activate. I saw the beta of this and this is much nicer looking than the beta. This is really kind of cool. I don't know where the contacts are, if they're using contacts here on the sides. Let's, this is what worries me. Can you see that flex? Man, I, I'm, I'm sure the pamphlet said, says put it in a soft yard. Don't be jamming it down, you know, through gravel and rock and stuff. So, all right, we're gonna see if that works. So that's the moisture sensor. 
and then the spruce irrigation controller. I'm gonna show you my controller over on the wall and then in a separate video, I'm gonna do the install. So here's gonna, I'm gonna be putting mine. Now mine has a wireless rain sensor, which that's cool, but that's kind of old school cool. And it's a hunter, man, I'm sure about a billion of these got made or, and are in work today. They're so easy to run a single station or uh, all stations and set the, uh, the periodicity at which you want to run your zones. I got a little cheat sheet here where it goes and you even got the instructions. This thing is so, so easy. But this one doesn't have anything set up for Wi-Fi or scheduling on your phone or smart things. Or, or soil sensors for that matter. So let's take a look here if I can do it one-handed. So this is where we're gonna be. Uh, this is gonna go away because this is the uh, the sensor wire and here is the power wire so we're not gonna need any of this. What we're interested in is all over here and this is all the zone information for all the uh, the zones out there that are doing the watering. So I'm gonna get this thing apart and I'm gonna throw on the brand new spruce irrigation controller. Cool, sorry, I'm looking at all the wires. It's pretty cool.